Do you ever wonder how to read your nursing textbooks faster and more efficiently while still retaining more? How about read less of them? Hmm? I actually don't recommend that most nursing students read your textbooks chapter from the beginning to the end. It's not a novel, folks. It shouldn't be read like one. Just think, would you read a dictionary that way? Of course not. Instead, you would decide what information do you need to know from the dictionary? Maybe it's a spelling of a word or a definition. Then you open up the dictionary to the page that has the information you want, you find the information you need, and then you close that dictionary. Wouldn't it be nice to use your nursing textbooks the same way? Because you should be. This can really turn your nursing textbooks and your study time into a search and destroy mission. So long as you have a strategy for how to identify what's the most important information, because obviously that's a little bit of a catch-22 a lot of times. You get told as nursing students you need to study the most important information, but how are you going to know what the most important information is if you're still a student studying? That's why you need a study strategy that is going to guide you through that process so that it kind of gives you a framework uh, that prevents you from overstudying, which is important, but also makes sure that you're able to self-identify what the most important information is. And it's essential that this uh, study strategy is an active learning strategy. I'll talk about that more in another video, so make sure you follow so that you don't miss that. Because when you study strategically like this, you're going to find that you actually retain more even though you're reading less. And if that sounds good to you, make sure you follow me so that you can learn more how to do that.